finally underway here at the Praia de Ginshu. And you're having a look at some heats that have uh, progressed so far, but now focusing on round one heat for Courtney Conlog. Now second in the world, takes on Nikki Van Dyck and Pauline Addo. Um. I've noticed is that it's actually a much higher tide than I had mentioned. You know, it's a 10-foot tide, which is a pretty, pretty high tide. So you're going to see, and that's not until 1 o'clock. Yeah. So we've still got three more hours of tide to shift. Yeah. Her results didn't reflect that finishing the quarterfinals at Trestles, but ultimately as we watch her up and riding right now. All right. So world number two, Courtney Conlog, will go out the gates for an opening ride here. And a big crack uh, to the backhand there. Now, Peter, I was just having a look at how the points were being delivered from the panel. They are rewarding single big maneuvers out there. So they're looking for the emphasis, the power, the speed, the flow, even down to studying one single maneuver on the outside. Although, let's add to that discussion as we move through here, there is uh, those links to the inside that'll start. Yeah, well, we did that one big move there from Courtney. It's going to be a pretty good score. I mean, it's not going to be a gigantic score, but ultimately you're right. Um, I think that if there's a quality in the turn with that one move, they're going to get into the good range, maybe even the excellent range. All right, so the panel is now working on the opening ride for Courtney Conlog, and with that, we'll drop down to Strider, who will pick up with world number one winner of that heat, Carissa Moore. Thanks, boys. Yeah, an amazing heat for you, Chris. It looked like the flow was on tap. You're actually gliding all the way to through to the inside, which we didn't see much of today. Was it really tough to find waves out there? Yeah, I mean, it is still pretty tricky. I'm still that the winds calmed down a bit. And actually, I think with the tide, the waves are slowing up, so there's more opportunity to do a couple turns. Um, I think you'll be seeing some better performances as the day goes on. Just uh, having a look uh, on your screen there at that score that's dropped in now for Conlog, a 4.17. That's testament to that single big, big maneuver on the outside there, Peter. So those numbers on the outside, we were talking about that. A 417 checks in for Conlog, wave one. Yeah, well, we'll see it transition a little bit too as the tide fills in because ultimately the wave faces will stay more open with a lot more water over the top of the sandbank. Uh, you know, still, you know, if you get that major set wave, we're going to see this, you know, the surf increase through the day. At least that's what's forecast. Um, you know, right now we can see that there is, you know, some inconsistent sets, but ultimately those bigger waves are going to score the highest. They're going to have the most critical sections that we see. And, uh, you know, we hope to see a lot more of those as the day progresses. All right. So now another number checked in during that chat with uh, Strada and Carissa. Pauline Addo got to work uh, picking up a second counting ride of this encounter. Uh, a mid-range score of 4.1, so looking at how that plays against the 4.17 of Conlog on this incoming tide, but on screen right now, Van Dyke, no rides to accredit the stage. And Peter, not really big numbers required either, having a look at those, that 4.17 for Courtney and the 4.1 for Addo. So not a high level getting set just yet, but meantime, your French lady will just uh, come out the gates here for wave number three for Pauline Addo as we uh, talk through those numbers, Peter. We'll be looking a lot and talking about the, the rocker on the surfboard. But meanwhile, here we go, having a look at Pauline Addo. She's now keeping a work rate going here through to the inside. This is one of those waves that might do the connection, and it is. She's keeping that board speed going. Flow here on wave number four for the, uh, the uh, surfer from France. And you'll see rail to rail, not flapping, not hopping, but keeping that surfboard going. So she's got the right equipment under her feet here. Checks through to the inside. Just a, a little disappointment on that last maneuver, Peter. But there, that surfboard flowing, that's testing me to board selection right there. And she'll welcome that uh, wave number four score. So I think that's going to be a banker for her. Meanwhile, an exchange now with the priority being used by Courtney Conlog. Good crack on the outside. Does this wave offer anything? It is the second wave of that pulse. And, well, just two turns on the outside. So a bit of action for us to process here between Pauline Addo and Courtney Conlog. All right, thanks, Chelsea. Uh, well, 13 and a half minutes to play now in this uh, round one heat four encounter. And uh, let's have a look at some numbers that have dropped in because here we go. Courtney Conlog has uh, gone to work here and brought a seven to the table here, Peter. Well, look at that. I mean, that's that type of surfing that we have yet to see today. We saw a little bit from Carissa Moore, but those front runners ultimately... We also see Nikki Van Dyke here, and she gets a nice combination of moves. That's where she gets two nice moves, gets the 5.67. But that big one move there from Courtney Conlog showed that critical, so it had difficulty to it. Um, you know, it didn't really necessarily, it had speed through the maneuver, not necessarily a bunch of flow to it because it was just the one move. But ultimately, it's in the good range of the 7.0, and uh, it's taken over the lead. So that outside sandbar proving to be the zone to operate, that, that big single maneuver of Courtney Conlog uh, stamps out the single best ride of the heat thus far, a seven point average. In fact, one judge did go 7.5 on that. 
She's uh, backing herself up for the heat lead right here. And here we go. This is a big one on the outside. Wow. Now, this is the punctuation that we're talking about. She's going to be dropping a 4.17, which she achieved on an opener. Peter, she's going to back that up to join her previous seven-point ride. And that's the stuff we're talking about on the outside bank now with 12 minutes left to go. It's one of the advantages, I think, of having a little bit later heat. Um, you know, we're in round one action here. We have yet to see any scores or judges, um, you know, scores for the ladies. You know, and you're at first heat, that guinea pig heat, but watch that slam. I mean, oh. she really committed. That was a big wave, a big section. Uh, it was really steep when she did it. And here's Nikki behind her. And uh, just uh, goes on... on Unweights and uh, board gets out from under her feet, goes down. All right, so uh, 11 minutes to go, and the panel is working on that massive single, I'd say best maneuver of the entire morning thus far, Peter. We're going to wait and have a look and see what the panel throw. Remember that her previous ride is seven, now awaiting a big number, and I think this is really going to play combination situations for wow. the rest of the field. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, these two moves here, look at that one. Just gets those fins up and over, great technique, tucks that front knee, rides out of it was smooth and clean you know that's actually part of the flow too she didn't get hung up at all doing that move so that's that you know seven point yep. ride and then here an 8.0 but look at that just slams it upside down gets that board up above her feet and actually above her head and that's criticalness again and that's commitment all of those things that you see in the elements and the judging criteria she ticks it to a t you know ultimately if she were to link two of those like that type of surfing where she slams it and then gets the inside and does that oh. tail bro we start seeing like uh, up yep. in the ninth yeah so visiting the excellent point category now is courtney conlock previously wearing the yellow jersey forfeiting that uh, in the previous stop at trestles but sending a strong warning shot across the entire field here with this round one delivery of an eight and a seven and it's going to be a well it's almost combination for the rest of the field nikki van dyke lying second holding scores of a five six seven and a 5.43 you do see it up on top left of screen there it's a big number for her she needs a 9.33 to come anywhere close to the discussion all right thanks strider so they're a great indication of how much water movement takes place here in europe little in and out for pauline addo who finds herself in a combination situation lying third and well we'll go very very close to that five minute remaining mark now uh, talking about courtney conlogs big hits on the outside there again peter for those excellent scores we do have a look at her just having a little investigation as she's not holding the priority <laughs> you know a lot of traveling with that um, a lot of surfing of heats as you have some live action underway all right so 90 seconds remaining on the clock this is our french surfer pauline addo now peter i'm surprised i thought we'd be talking so much about how difficult europe is as a leg this is the surfer that's based here in Europe, so Pauline Addo should technically really be laying it to the field yeah. but Conlog and Van Dyke way out front on that. So that's testimony to where Conlog's pegging her performances here, and of course that's why she is the topic of a world title discussion here. And we'll talk more about that because you're seeing the uh, clock is about to wind up this heat, heat number four. It's been a firm statement from Courtney Conlog on screen there and of course smart here she'll just sit it out holding that first priority it's going to be a strong statement from uh, our world number two here in yeah, this opening she's, encounter she's yeah uh, this is the part where the the strong competitor that she is knowing what the judges were looking for she went out there she won this heat with two moves it's yeah. just uh, exactly that she knew how strong it would be and she did it all right so courtney conlog is uh, on the way to round three